the second video in our series on how to use Google Classroom for online instruction. Um, in our last series, we create I showed you how to create a topic and organize your course. Um, and now I'm going to show you how to add assignments and material to your topic um, and to your class. So always going to use the Create button. Um, and you have a couple different options. You can add an assignment, which is usually something that you want the kids to edit or where they're going to create um, a product and then submit it to you for grading. You can have your students take a quiz um, that you create in Google Forms. You can have them do an open-ended response using the question option. Or you can add material, um, which is just something for the kids to read or look at um, as part of creating an assignment. So I'm going to show you how to use an assignment and material in this video. So to create an assignment, <coughs> you would open it up. And I'm going to use the example of how a bill becomes a law. Um, and in this assignment, I want my students to read um, a portion of their textbook and answer some guided reading questions. So I'm going to assign that to them. Um, and so once you create the assignment, you have a bunch of options. You can assign it to all your students or to individual students. You can set a point value. You can set a due date um, using your calendar and giving them a time that you want it due, um, if you want to be really specific. Um, and then you can assign it to a topic. So we created our sample topic, and I'm going to assign it um, to that. Um, you can also add a rubric if you have one for this individual assignment, um, or you can just put your grading criteria in your instructions. So once you have it set up, you just need to add whatever the assignment is. So um, if you want the students to manipulate something you've already created, you just add to the assignment. So I'm going to use um, an assignment I already created. Um, and so I attach the guided reading for how a bill becomes a law. And I upload that to my course. Um, and <clears throat> the last thing you need to do before you create the assignment is determine what your kids are going to be able to do with it. So um, you can set this up as a file that only the, stu the students can only view and look at, or you can set it up as one file that all the students can edit, or you can make each individual student a copy. So if this is a guided reading worksheet like this, I'm going to create one for each student. And as soon as it is uploaded there um, and set, you would assign. Uh, for our purposes, I'm going to save it as a draft, which is something you can do as well. Um, it'll house it in the appropriate spot in your course, um, but it won't send it out to your kids. Um, and since this isn't an actual assignment for them, I'm just going to click Save Draft. And so <clears throat> now you have um, a sample assignment for your course. So if we click on that, you'll see that when the students open it up, they'll be able to open the assignment. Um, and then if they open it in a new window, They can then use this little link right at the top, click Open with Google Docs, and it will generate a file for them in their Google Doc folder um, that they can then take and manipulate. And um, once they save it, they can type the answers right into the assignment that they can then turn back to you. So, um, you know, it's, it's a great way to get assignments to your kids um, and then have them complete them and ultimately turn them back into you um, when they are finished. So um, that's what they would see. If you need to go back and edit it, you can click edit it and it just takes you right back to the original screen. So um, that's a sample assignment. Um, if you want to do a, a piece of material that you don't want the kids to edit, you just click same process. Add material. You pick your topic. Um, so again, sample topic. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to do um, add a PowerPoint or two for my kids for that How a Bill Becomes a Law assignment. So um, I tell them to use these PowerPoints to help you complete the Bill becomes a law. Guided reading. Um, 
and so now since this is material the kids are not going to be able to edit it um, so I can just put up a PowerPoint um, so for this one I have a PowerPoint on how a bill becomes a law that I want them to use and I also want to add um, a flow chart that I have for how a bill becomes a law um, so I attach both files I can upload them at the same time put them on the same um, piece of material and as soon as it uploads um, now both of them are in there again assign it to sample topic um, in this case it says post because you're just putting it in your class not assigning it um, and again you can save this as a draft like I'm gonna do and so now if the kids open that up they can pull up the PowerPoint it's right there for them to use and I can pull up the other option um, and you can see the material that you need your kids to see in order for them to have the information they need to do their work so um, you know that's the, the basic difference between an assignment and material uh, you know uh, something you just need to kind of figure out what best fits you in your class um, and what your needs are so hopefully that helps you understand the difference